Hi, this is Julie Harlan. Please visit my website at yourmathcal.com where I organize my videos by topic. A fraction that contains one or more fractions in either its numerator or denominator, denominator or both is called a complex fraction. Below are five examples of complex fractions. Um, complex fractions are not in simplified form and there are two common methods for simplifying a complex fraction. In the first method, both the numerator and denominator need to be written as single fractions and then you can multiply the numerator the re by the reciprocal of the denominator. In my example, the very first one is in that form, so method one works very well for that. For the rest of them, method two is actually easier for most people. You multiply the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction by the least common multiple of all the denominators of fractions in the numerator and denominator, and this eliminates the complex fraction in the first step. All right, we're going to simplify this complex fraction. So you see there is more than one term in both the numerator and denominator, so the best method would be to multiply both the whole numerator and whole denominator by the least common multiple of all the denominators. So let's see, I have a factor of x minus 3, and that same factor is in the denominator. Um, I mean the denominator of x minus 3, and then I have an x, and I have an x, so x times x minus 3 will be the least common denominator of all the um, fractions. So we want to multiply the whole numerator by x times x minus 3, and the denominator times x times x minus 3. Let's see, let's get rid of that little, there we go. Okay. So we need to do the distributive property here in the numerator and in the denominator. So if you want, you could put this over 1, that's up to you. So I have 7 over x minus 3 times x times x minus 3 minus 2 over x times x times x minus 3. I distributed the numerator and I'm going to do the same thing in the denominator. I have 5 over x times x times x minus 3 minus 1 over x minus 3 times x times x minus 3. And now for the fun part. We're going to get rid of the complex fraction because this x minus 3 cancels here, this x cancels here, this x cancels here, this x minus 3 cancels here. So what do we have left in the numerator? I have 7 times x, 7x, minus 2 times x minus 3, you're going to have to distribute that negative sign, remember. And in the denominator, I have 5 times x minus 3 minus 1 times x, which is x. So we just simplified the numerator and denominator here. So I have to distribute my negative sign, negative 2. So it's a negative 2x plus 6. And in the denominator, 5x minus 15 minus x. Almost done. Here we go. So in the numerator, we have 5x plus 6. In the denominator, we have 4x minus 15. Neither of those factor, so that's in the most simplified form.